ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the next season the opener round one of the fsm league racing season and today you might notice a bit of a smaller grid but that's because we are in the building phase we need to just work on getting a couple drivers in if anybody does view this you can race on either a tuesday or a thursday let me know just uh pop me a little dm or something and we'll go from there um but yeah let's get into this um hopefully we can get a bigger grid for future races obviously you're gonna have rsf1 content as well to go on this channel so yeah and obviously my team my team i'm gonna let you know now there's gonna be a little week delay so from whenever the last video was posted wait a week and you'll get another video it's all because uh, I'm going to my mum's wedding, so unfortunately not able to get a video up. So it is what it is, but it'll go back to normal with all the content. I'll get a schedule up at some point. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, a week without my team. And as you can see here in Quali, as we're just talking over Quali, we're 1.4 seconds off Pradouts. But we expect to be 1.4 seconds off Pradouts because in... RSF1, he is a tier 1 driver, and I'm borderline tier 4, tier 5, along with most of the other drivers in this lobby, so I'm taking that as a provisional poll, even though Pradouts is in front of me, I'm battling for P2 today, I don't expect to get anywhere near him, he's just a very, very quick driver, and let's just try our best to just finish P2, beat the rest of the field, um, but yeah, he's not going to be at most races, he's only taken part in the races he can make, which is good. But now, we gear up for the five red lights. And it's go, go, go! Here for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Not a bad start from ourselves. Obviously, Pradouts gets an amazing launch off the line. And that will probably be the last you see of him today. And he should just gap us now. We've got Egon trying to go down the inside of us. Does not commit to the move. And we just about to keep in front of him. We're still in P2. This is the best we could have hoped for off the line. Evo Freezy starting on those medium tyres. But as you can see, Pradouts has switched to AI mode. I don't know if he's having wheel problems or not. But he is switched to AI mode. So we're going to take advantage of that and try and go around the outside of his AI. And take the lead of the race right now on lap one. And see what the gap is we can pull by the time he takes back over. Launch off the of that corner there. So we're about 1.8 seconds clear of him now. But you can see lap three, he's taken back over his car. We're defending a little bit. Obviously we know that he's gonna get past us, but we're just trying to defend as much as we can. We get our line completely wrong. He does a cutback. And here we just decide to let off the throttle, let him go and just settle down for P2. Obviously we've got a 2.6 second gap there to Zombie. And we don't want to just lose that gap. We want to just settle down, keep the gap to the rest of the field, and uh, see what we can do, really. Because by the end of this stint, these tyres will be awful. Uh, the tyres do go off, and they go off dramatically. But as you can see there, Pradout's getting away from us already. He is gapping us so easily. There isn't an awful lot we can do. We had DRS there, and he's still gapping us. But we just try and keep with him. The tyres on lap 3 are already awful. And as you can see, Pradout has gone around. He's hit the wall. Pradout is in the wall. Huge okay, mistake good. from the favourite today. And as you can see as well, Vaughan, IFMC Vaughan is also out of the Grand Prix. But Sam, I don't think has retired. But he has now. Pradout is out of the Grand Prix. The favourite, the free race favourite, it has crashed out. And he is not happy, I can tell you that now. He had real issues which have forced him into a mistake and a retirement. It is yeah, not his right. fault, but we're just going to try and so live off of that. Of As you can see, he's on the left there. Ahead. That's unfortunate for our teammate. But we move on, and let's see if we can pick up a race victory here. An unexpected race victory in the season opener. As you can see, Zombie Head. 3.4 seconds behind, but now it's Evo Freezy, 2 seconds behind, our tyres are gone, he's on those medium tyres, and they are just going, I realised about mid-race, that he was on okay, a 1 stop, this, right? we are on a 2 stop, so we have to really make sure we get the most out of our tyres when we're on them, but you can see, he is just on us now, he's catching by about 3 temps per corner, our tyres are gone, 
there is nothing left of these tyres now, as you can see. Fighting the car through most corners. And he is not having to fight at all. Nowhere near the apex. He's now six tenths behind us. Closing now into half a second in a moment. He is just there. He is there. But we pitted okay, now. Get off those tyres. Get onto the medium. Can we get out just in front of Zombie Head? Who is on the softs. Just about. He goes for the cutback. But we put our car in a perfect place. We can't do too much about it. We get on the... ERS as early as possible just to try and defend from Zombie. He's going to think about a move down the inside. There he goes. He's down our inside. Not a lot we can do. He's on warm, soft okay, tyres. We We're on cold, position. medium tyres. So it is what it is. He goes past us and he should now start to gap us and maybe even close the gap on Evo Freezy in front of us. But a very good move there from Zombie. And Zombie should now show some pace. And as you can see, he gets the fastest lap of the race. He's got that on the and the lap after he overtook us, or on the lap he overtook us, it was one or the other. Now, just trying to stay with him as close okay, as we possibly can. It is 1.6 Oh my god, he's got around! Zombie has made a huge mistake as my brother pops up online at the bottom, just, you know, to get himself in the video. He can't help himself, he has to promote himself. But yeah, unfortunately there, Zombie, huge mistake. And he goes around, and we capitalise on that just like we did when Pradout made the same mistake. Pradout made a mistake on a different corner, sorry, my bad. Now, it's a 12 and a half second gap there to Evo Freezy, who obviously is going to have a pit stop on us because he doesn't have to pit twice. But as you can see, Zombie, I think he's off the track again. He's gone around at the long right-hander. Now, Evo in the pit lane. Very fast-paced race, this one. A lot to talk about. Don't have any replay cameras of any of the other drivers, but in the future, hopefully, we will do. I asked the drivers a bit too late today, and none of them actually saved a clip. So it's, it is what it is. We move on. Hopefully, for the next race in FSM, we'll have uh, replay cameras and different cameras of other drivers. And just it would be nice to see, just to mix it up slightly. But now. We are 8.7 seconds ahead of James Petty and 11 seconds ahead of Evo Freezy, who is on those hard tyres. And we're, to be honest, our tyres right now are feeling awful. I don't know if it was the setup, but I felt like the tyres went off so fast on this car. And now you can see the gaps coming down. It's 10.8. He is just is catching us the by the corner, by the straight. He is gaining on us. And as you can see now, bottom corner, we're having a little look at the okay, strategy. He wants us to change the same exact strategy. Not really sure what Jeff's thinking was there, but it put us off. And we get a corner extending penalty or warning. And now we cut to lap 18. Evo Freezy now four seconds behind us. He is gaining by the corner. There's not a lot we can do. We're just trying our very, very best to keep in front of him. You can see just up ahead of us, Zombie Head. He was in a battle with us at one point for the race victory, the race lead, and he made a mistake. And now he's nearly a lap down. He's this, just this entire straight behind in front of us, sorry. But we do get a free second time penalty. I think that one's a little bit harsh. We didn't do too much wrong there, but it is what it is. And Zombie, you can see the AI, the little dot has gone around and he's out of the Grand Prix. On the left there, he's in the wall. Zombie is out of the race. And okay, it's brought out perfectly timed track. safety car for us. We can pit now, right now and not Just lose too much time to Evo Check Freezy and get on our strategy, strategy which we're going to do anyway. I don't know why Jeff's telling Got us that. to go to the mediums. We can go to the sauce at the end now. And we get in, we pit, and we're going to come out in the lead of the Grand Prix, despite the fact we've done two stops. Well, it would have been two stops to Evo 1. Now Evo's done two stops because he's come in, smart call to come in for the soft tyres as well himself. But yeah, now it is just a sprint race to the end of the Grand Prix for everybody. We've only got four runners left in this race as well. Only four cars left. Now, lap 22, safety car is coming in this lap. And as you can see, our engine is cold. Our engine's very cold right now. Tire temps aren't exactly where you want them to be, but they're not too bad. Now, can we get this restart right? We're waiting. We're biding our time. We see that Evo Freezy got overexcited on the front and had to put his brakes on. So we put our throttle on immediately after we see that. And we go 
very good restart from ourselves and we should be able to maintain the lead here into turn one without any issues of an attack from Evo behind. He outbreaks himself slightly, nearly goes into the back of us, but has to go straight on. And we're okay. We are currently leading the race with seven laps remaining. Let's see if we can hold on and actually get what will be our first ever league race victory of all time. We only started league racing last year and it would be nice to pick up a race victory on this game which I've been struggling on honestly since it started, since the cycle of this game began. I've just been all over the place. I haven't had the pace on this game at all and it would be lovely if we can just get a race victory just to give us a little bit of confidence. But yeah, I don't know. You probably won't see too many race victories in RSF1 because I'm in a tier that is a really tough tier to be in. So we'll see what happens on that one. Fingers crossed I can do okay, but it's going to be a tough one for me. And now you can see, we are just trying our best just to run the car through these corners and not lose too much time. This opening lap of green flag running since the safety car, we're down to 65% on ERS already. Evo thinks about a move on the inside of us and then backs out because it's probably the smart call. Now we're going to burn our ERS down this straight just to keep the lead for now. He goes a little bit faster than us on that lap. Now, Evo, is he going to think about a move down the inside? See the proximity, he thought about it, but decided to pull out of the corner as he was about to go for a little lunge down the inside. I think he was a tiny bit too far back. Now we're on lap 24, just trying to get ourselves to the end. And we get a little bit overexcited on the throttle, lose the back end, we keep it out of the wall, luckily. Come back onto the track, still not in full control, and Evo hits us. Evo's hit us as we're returning onto the track. And he's gone around and retired from the Grand Prix. Unfortunately for Eva, I believe he's retired on track. I don't think that was actual retirement. I believe he retired on track. I'm not overly sure if he hit the wall. But I don't have any proof either way. Now we move on. Lap 28. We've got a three-second time penalty. James Petty behind us has an 11-second time penalty. On the final lap of the Grand Prix now. Egon's a little bit further back. I don't think Egon's had the best races. He's pitted, though, to go for the fastest lap. Egon's a better driver than what he's shown here so far. Now, James, is he going to have a go to try and win the race on track? He's not going to win the race on penalty. Can he win the race on track? We keep it around the final corner. Get on the throw nice and early. James has backed off. And we are coming across the line to win. Our first ever league race. And it's come on a game that we've been struggling on so bad. What an amazing performance. Here we are. You can see Egon now coming around the final sector. And he's going to come home and finish in P3. Only three cars finished. We're all on the podium. And we win the Grand Prix. What a result that is for ourselves. I can't believe we've done it. Not a lot of people can believe that we've done it. But James Petty gets driver of the day. Very consistent from him to get himself a P2, even with 14 seconds of pens. But we are a race victory in league racing. What an amazing, amazing feeling it was at the time. Yes, it came from an unfortunate mistake from Zombie bringing up the safety car. But we were in the right place at the right time to win the race. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Chris12LFC and I will see you later and look forward to the next Grand Prix.